Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Remember about six weeks ago, we put in the SmartBot and it's got a decent rain today. So I wanted to show you how well that SmartBot works. Let's take a look. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. This is Sunday and I'm here at the office. I don't think I ever get a day off, so excuse how tired I look, but it's just office time in here. Uh, remember when we put in the SmartBot 360? Well, we have some rain going on here and the yard is saturated enough to show you how well this pump actually works. Let's take a look. So a real quick review of a French drain and catch basin system. The catch basins collect immediate surface water. So when it rains hard, you know, the water pulls straight into that catch basin is carried away. It rained all night. And this is just the French drain draining out underground water. That's what we're looking at. So the pump works really good. I did notice that when it was really raining hard, that when the catch basins kick in, they're pulling that water out of the yard, the, the pump slowed down dramatically. In other words, a lot of debris built up around the impeller. So they might need a little bit better screen system. Um, but other than that, this pump's working really, really well. Okay, so I'm just like everybody else. I don't ever check any drains <laughs> unless they're backed up. So let's walk out front. Remember, it's about 300 feet out there. And um, let's walk out here and take a look. I, I don't know what's going on. Let's take a look. And excuse, you know, the yard. We've had several hard freezes here. And, you know, our nursery is great inside the greenhouse. But out here, you can see all the plants these are tropical plants and they really suffered. They'll come back, but not too well here. But let's take a look. I haven't been out here for a while, so let's see. Oh yeah, here's our discharge pipe right here. And you can see water's coming out. But it's, it's, this is just the French drain working. This is not, you know, the catch basins. This is just subsurface water that's trickling through that system. You know, it's, it's risen up high enough for the water to get out here. You can see it kick on right there. Oh, nice. Real nice. Really, really nice. So that little pump, you guys, is working really, really good. And let's walk back there and take a look. Let's walk down the driveway. We need some more gravel and things like that <laughs> typical maintenance is you know that we have to do and you have to do we all have to do them but I'm pretty impressed with that pump um, I actually you can take a look over here I actually wanted to go surfing today and I wanted to you know I've got the wetsuits but I really wanted to go surfing but we're not gonna make that happen today so let's go back here and, oh, I can hear the pump. Let's see what's going on. So yeah, remember, this is just the French drain. This is just subsurface water and the catch basins aren't coming into play. So this is just groundwater and it's actually working pretty good. I, I'm pretty pleased with the pump so far, but check the review at the end. So you can see back here in the backyard, you know, remember this is about, oh, uh, maybe three quarters of an acre We've got a French drain system with our catch basins that go straight through the French drain. And you can see there's no standing water here, but this is a low spot. Then we've got another one as we come across. Same thing. There's no standing water here right now. It takes a big rain for these things to get activated. And then the water comes across and drops into the system. Right now we've got saturated soil because it rained all night and the French drain is picking that water up as it's rising up in the ground and sending it over to the pump. So let's walk over here to the pump real quick. And it's cold, you guys. <laughs> I know it's very cold up north, but here in Florida, when we get down below 50 degrees, it's cold. <laughs> it's very cold. And take a look. Oh yeah, looking great.
Okay, let's make a quick review of the SmartBot 360. Um, first of all, remember what that is, is a utility pump. It's not really designed to be down in the sump basin, but we gave that a try. We actually installed it in a permanent system that collects over three quarters of an acre of land with catch basins and French drain. So how well did the pump work? It's been in there six weeks, not very long, but it's been in there six weeks. And we've had some small rains, but we had a couple of downpours, as you saw when I was trying to make the video. So I tried to make a video today, proposed it for you. How well did the pump work? It worked pretty good. Um, what I did notice was when it rained hard and the water came across and dropped into those catch basins, now we've got a tremendous amount of water coming into that system. And what happened was some of the debris would build up around the impeller and it slowed it down. I slowed it down pretty good. So remember, it's a utility pump. So would I would I keep this out there in the yard and keep it in my backyard system? No. I think it's a great utility pump, but for the backyard sump system, the Zoller is still the, my choice for that pump. But that is a great little pump. I use it every day. They sent me another pump, and I they I use it every day. Every time I go to a, find a flooded sump basin. I stick that pump down in there with the discharge hose and pump that thing dry. Uh, it works great. Now I'm able to reach down in there, pull the pump, change the check valve, whatever it is. For a utility pump, that is a really nice pump. It's so fast and it can suck it down to about a half an inch of water. So there's hardly any water left. If you've got a flooded basement um, and you don't have a sump system for whatever reason, or you just need a backup, you can just set that on your basement floor and it's going to suck that water down so that it's you know less than a half an inch. Now you're able to get over to whatever it is you need to get to, some basin, washing machine, whatever it is. Um, you're able to get to that spot. Utility pumps are great pumps. Take a look at the link below if you're interested and let me know. Let me know if you buy one and you tell me how it works. I'd love to hear your comments about that. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drain for reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.